Welcome back. And so while I'm still working on the changes uh, on the wing and the foreplane, um, and you know, getting ready to do the tool pass for that, we actually have to keep the machine running again. So this is uh, going to be the uh, header tank that goes behind the cabin that the two uh, wing straight tanks sort of feed into, gravity feed into. So I've actually, you know, set that one up um, to be milled. And here it is with the flanges on there. And there's uh, another piece to it as well, which is basically a a closeout plate and this thing um, basically just attaches to the aft bulkhead um, in behind the cabin there and another one I have here this is the inlet for um, the intake at the top and so I had to create and we've already created the outer skin plug and the mold actually is is, is uh, getting ready to be done but now I've got to create the little lip for this um, on the inside and so it's an airfoil shape and that's what I've selected there so this is how that um, plug is going to look. So that's another one to be up on the machine and you'll see that here uh, shortly. So here are the platforms for those um, couple of different um, plugs there just being uh, put together. That's one for the tank there, just welded together. And then this is the other one for the um, closeout for the tank. And then that small one is for the intake. So you can see just basically weld those up and put some uh, ply on that. And here the guys are cutting the foam with a hot wire and you see we use a little uh, variac which uh, basically just puts a current through the thin wire there and heats it up and that's how we cut the foam and I think I've showed this before but anyway you can just see again and just um, set the the voltage just the right amount to heat it up and it just comes through and will cut that really nicely and as you can see there Zach just lifts it off and meanwhile there's always some sanding going on and so this is um, the one for the uh, door strakes attached to the door and this is the one for the uh, the ribs for the tanks and that's just you know underway Zach's been working on that and this is the one for the dash now that one's been fully uh, waxed now so it just needs the rubber profile put on there and that one will be ready to have a mold uh, pulled okay so here's the plug for that intake and you see it's been mostly already milled and actually just running the ball mill here there was a little area on the sides there that was sort of uh, undercut so I actually had to run the, the ball mill um, in order to um, get the right surface on there so it's just finishing off and here's the finished product so now it's all cleaned up and ready to have uh, some fiberglass put on there and ultimately to be sprayed with putty and back on the machine again and so I mentioned there was another piece to that tank so this is the closeout and this is basically the simplest thing we've done now it's just three f flat surfaces and that'll be the lid um, for that tank and meanwhile, here's uh, some other things that have been finished off. So this is the um, the mold for the center console. It's now been uh, fully released, and as you saw last time, uh, it had the, already had the stands sort of uh, stands and braces already put onto it. So as you can see, that one came out nicely. And this is the one for the uh, tray for the intake, and that one uh, has been released, but still needs to be uh, trimmed off. The guys were in, uh, Roberto and Chris were in on the weekend and trimmed a whole bunch of different uh, parts that you'll see here in a little bit. And there's, um, that was the one for the firewall and you see the edges on that have been trimmed and sanded and cleaned up now. So that one is uh, ready to be uh, prepped, waxed so we can actually lay up the firewall. And here's the rest of the door frame ones, um, those ones that were five pieces each. So there's ten pieces all together I believe sitting up there. Those are all the door frames all ready to be uh, put together again and waxed and so we can lay the outer door frames and so today the second half of uh, the first one of these door frames was uh, started so this is with the black top coat laid down uh, ready to have the first uh, layer of fi lightweight fiberglass put on there so uh, Chris and Roberto uh, started on that and you'll see that again here shortly and meanwhile here's the, um, the plug for the um, sump tank there or the header tank just underway on the machine so that one will um, be ready to be glassed uh, tomorrow and finally here's uh, Chris and Roberto and they're just finishing off um, laying up the uh, the various layers three layers uh, on this one so that will get the heavy um, heavy carbon on that one tomorrow and that'll be done so anyway that's our update for the first half of this week thanks for watching